Today I want to talk about why you should live abroad at least once in your lifetime. First off, you will get to know yourself a lot better and will develop a much deeper understanding of your likes and dislikes. And that in itself is absolutely priceless. Also, you will be away from the people that you were previously physically really close to. And that of course can be a good thing or a bad thing. But either way, you will be free from their expectations, from the expectations that were thrown at you from your environment, by these expectations. And you really are, maybe even for the first time, free to choose whatever it is that you want to do and whatever it is that you want to pursue. Living in a new country, especially one that is a lot different from the one that you grew up in, will give you a fresh perspective on everything and will help you to either stay open-minded or become a lot more open-minded. Moving abroad takes you out of your comfort zone. You will be removed, obviously, from your previous environment. You will be surrounded by new people, new places, possibly a different language, and you will have to slowly but surely learn how to navigate your new environment and your new surroundings. Moving to a new place is of course thrilling, but it also comes with a couple of challenges, especially when it comes to setting yourself up, which I usually give myself a couple of months, but you might only have a couple of weeks to get everything ready and to set yourself up. At times it can of course be difficult, but if you take one step at a time, you will slowly but surely get into the swing of things and you will grow so much as a person as a result of it. You become independent. When you move to a new place, everything will be new and a lot of it will be unfamiliar. And whether you move with other people or not, you will still have to figure out things yourself. And those very things that you will have to figure out might be a lot different than you're used to and a lot different from the country that you're coming from. This will really force you to become independent and to do whatever needs taken care of yourself. Of course, you can always ask for help from your surroundings or from the people that you get to know. But especially in the beginning stage, a lot of the things that you really need to take care of, such as paperwork, finding some sort of job or setting up your online income, will take time, dedication, and simply willingness to do whatever it takes. You improve your people skills. Whether you move alone or with someone else, you will want to meet new and different people. When I moved to Berlin, I was a bit worried that I wouldn't make any friends. Also, I was only there for three months. So my time frame was very limited and I'm shy at heart. It takes me a long time to develop friendships. But to my surprise, I found really, really incredible people and I'm still in touch with loads of them today. I highly recommend couch surfing to find people as well as meet up. And of course, there might be local websites as well as apps that you can use to meet new friends. And of course, taking classes or getting a gym membership are always options to meet people within your community offline. And while I've found it a bit more difficult in certain places, Rest assured that eventually you will make friends and you will grow so much stronger and independent as a person. Stuff does not equal happiness. Of course, you don't have to move anywhere to realize that, but moving is a really good, let's call it exercise, to really get to know yourself as well as your relationship with your possessions. Because chances are, when you move to a new country, you will have to downsize because you simply cannot take everything with you. Also, storage can be expensive and you simply might not want to hold on to possessions, even if you can store them for free with friends or family. 
the very fact that you will have to fit all your stuff into a couple of suitcases will get you really close with your stuff and will by force really get you to evaluate what it is that you need and what it is that you don't need and can let go of. Personally, I've learned that owning a lot of clothing as well as little knickknacks is holding me back, not only physically, but also spiritually. It's simply holding me down, which I obviously don't want to, and freeing myself of all those possessions has been really, really liberating. And the move, my initial move to New York City in 2014, where I lived for only three months, has really helped me to create that sense of urgency and to within a couple of months really downsize so that I was able to fit everything into a couple suitcases. So if you need that urgency, a move is great for downsizing and decluttering. The experience that you will gain from the move itself is something that no one will ever be able to take from you. Stuff is always replaceable. The world is full of possibilities. Moving to a new place will get you up close with your fears. You will have to face them and you will realize that whatever it is that you want to do is in fact possible. Moving will really show you what it is that you're capable of. And while I'm by no means the bravest person on this planet, moving has really shown me that everything that I want to do is in fact possible and if it isn't then there is an even better option. Moving abroad changes you. You will experience a different environment, a different culture, possibly a different language and no matter what it is that you're gonna do, even if you hide in your apartment or room, it will change you. Moving abroad made me look at life in a different way and it made me evaluate what it is that I truly want out of life. Looking back at it all, I've definitely made 180 and I'm, I would say at least, a really different person to the person that I was before I moved abroad. You become adaptable. Chances are things will be a lot different in the new country that you move to. Take me for example. The healthcare system in the UK is a lot different to the healthcare system in Austria and the healthcare system in Austria and Germany and the UK is a lot different than it is in the States. Or take studying. Studying in Austria is either free in 90% of the cases or incredibly inexpensive, even for foreign students. But look at the US, you will get a completely different picture. Like with everything else that you do, read up on the country's regulations, its laws, its policies, and try to get a good understanding of the country itself, even before you move there. You'll discover that home is where the heart is. Don't get me wrong, Austria is a really, really beautiful place. But there is so much more to see in this world than just the country that you grew up in or that you lived in for a really, really long time. Moving to a new place is always thrilling. It's always a fresh start. You will get to meet new people you will be exposed to a new language and if not to a new language then at least to a different dialect, a different way of speaking. I adore Vienna. I lost my heart in Berlin. I found my soulmates in London and I call Brooklyn my home. I really 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 highly encourage you if, if you haven't done it already to take the leap and move to a different place, a new country, where you will be exposed to a different culture, possibly a, a new language, and just a different way of life. Let me know to which countries you would love to move. 
I would really, really love to hear that. And also tell me why. Tell me the reason why you would love to move there. Have a lovely day as always and see you guys next time.